What's up guys, welcome back to Wireman Model Cars and welcome back to another review. And today we are taking a look at the McLaren Speedtail by uh, True Skill Miniatures, TSM in short. Um, this model is really rare. Um, I think this was only released at CK Model Cars during their um, McLaren sale, I guess. They released a whole bunch of McLarens in 118 and as well as 143 a few months ago. Um, and this Speedtail was one of them. So, um, yeah, this one is really rare, as I said. Um, and it's actually a funny story about mine here. Um, so, on the day CK Motorcars listed this one on their website, I immediately ordered it. Um, and then about a week later, I got an email saying that they cancelled my order because the one that they were going to ship to me was actually broken. Um, and I was really upset about that. I mean, I, I literally ordered this model on the day it was released. So I must have been one of the first um, uh, customers for this model. Um, and like a week later, they suddenly uh, cancelled it. I mean, why did they cancel mine instead of just cancelling the latest order that they got at that point? So that they could ship uh, a different one to me. I mean, I was one of the first ones to order this model. So I really do not understand why they cancelled mine. Um, so yeah, I was really upset. I was quite angry. Um, I really wanted this model as it was incredibly rare. Um, and um, yeah, so a few weeks later, um, you know, CK Model Cars, they actually have also um, models called Second Choice which are damaged models that they sell for a much lower price um, and this one actually popped up so i took a look at it and the issue that it had uh, was that the driver's seat was completely loose it was just bouncing around in the interior um completely loose it also has a small chip in the carbon here on the front split as you, maybe you can spot that um right there but um yeah we'll take a look at that in a bit um but yeah i, I the seat was loose, so I thought, you know, I could buy it and then see if I can open up the model to fix it. So, uh, I mean, the model was literally 60 euro and uh, retail price was, I think, um, well, actually, yeah, I bought it for 60 euro, um, which was cheaper than the original price, when it, when, uh, what they listed it for, because originally this they listed it for 80 euros, literally 80 euros. That's really cheap. Um, for speed tail and um, I mean a week later they even bounced it up to 180 um, euro yeah, I mean CK model cars they always um, make their models more expensive when they sell a lot um, but yeah I got mine for 60 euro um, I got the model I received it um, and it was surprisingly easy to open it up from the bottom just unscrew the bottom of the car take out the interior and I could re-glue the seat in the correct position and uh, yeah the interior is pretty much um, like new again not really but I'll show you in a bit what the issues are at the moment still which I can't fix unfortunately but um, yeah let's take a full look around this model so as I said original retail price was 80 euro Seeker Modelcast did make it um, higher uh, as the week went by because this model did sell out within a week um, and nowadays, if you want to buy one on eBay or anything like that, they are definitely 200 euro. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy I got this one for 60 euro. I mean, that's that's an absolute bargain. So let's just start the review from the front. So taking a look at the front here, we can see the color does look really good. It's really nice and shiny. The whole splitter is finished in carbon fiber and as I said it has it does have a small chip in the carbon right in the center there. Which is unfortunately something I have to live with. I mean it was 60 euro so for the price it's not um, it's not that bad. You can see the sensors as well here in the front bumper. Also with a little I think the outline for the uh, the place where you put the tow hook. Headlights look really good as well. 
quite nice detail. You can see the DRLs and the um, the main beam. The I think there's also carbon fiber surrounding it. Yep. The smaller vent down the bottom is closed off on this model. McLaren badge looks pretty good. The vents here on the front trunk lid are also just closed. Plastic with a mesh uh, plastic over it. But yeah, the front does look really good. Taking a look at down the side then. So these wheel covers are actually the ones which were on the pre-production car. Um, the production car actually had a bit uh, different shape and a bit smaller size um, wheel covers. Um, so yeah, this is the smaller version. Oh, sorry, the pre-production version, which are bigger. But they are finished in like a carbon look. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be carbon, but it does have this... Um, texture to it which actually looks like carbon um, so that's quite interesting we do have the um, McLaren logo down the middle and uh, we actually do not have brake discs or brake calipers modeled um, behind the wheel um, because when I opened it up I did take a look at that and there were no brake discs or, uh, or calipers so being the speed tail, we don't have side mirrors but um, cameras just pop out from the door so that's the outline for the um, popping out camera the side does look pretty good with the colors as well we do have a vent over there which I believe is closed yeah I think it's closed I'm not really sure about that uh, might actually be all the way going through but don't think so um, the door vents here you can actually see in there it is close off a plastic of course back there but it does look really good so rear wheels are obviously as you can see the um, not covered with a wheel cover um, so we do have these beautiful wheels which does which do look really good um, we have a machine color brake calipers with the McLaren logo no tire lettering or anything like that but yeah it does look really good very nice you can see the spark of the color here as well it does look really good the side skirt is also finished in common fiber so moving on around the back then so the full back is finished in carbon the license plate you can see here is actually custom by me i did put that on Maybe wondering why BP2023? Well, actually, BP23 was the internal code name for the um, development of the speed tail. So I think that was quite a nice um, fitting license plate for this model. Um, so yeah, that, that's really nice. Um, so yeah, we got the McLaren BAM logo right in the center there. We do have closed plastic back there with a mesh lookalike. Um, the real life is just a, a red strip. I mean, the real life it doesn't really look all that much different from this. So that's pretty well done, I would say. The vents down there, I think, are just closed off back there. Yep. As I said, we do have full carbon. Carbon does look really good. Got the speed tail in uh, written out in text right there, which also looks really good. And if you take a look under there, you can actually see the exhaust tip. And as you can see that the way that it is shaped, it really does go very nice and flush with the with the um, diffuser here. So if I just lift up the model real quick. Yeah, you can see how they, that exhaust is shaped. It's really very cool. And the whole underside here is also finished in carbon fiber. So, yeah, I mean, the back of the speed tail is really my most favorite part. It really is very impressive. And just look at the length. Just look at that. The, um, you know, the teardrop style of this car. You can see here the side profile. It's really one flush line to go as fast as possible through the air to reach uh, the car's top speed. I mean, this is, I believe, I believe it still is the fastest McLaren ever built. 
Um, so yeah, this is faster than the McLaren F1. Um, taking a look at the top here on the back, we do have this, I think this is a third brake light here, the complete red strip, which is also really cool. You, can, uh, you do have a bit of um, mesh here as well, um, surrounded by carbon fiber everywhere. All these vents are just closed, but they do look pretty good. So let's take a look at the interior. So the windows actually, um, the doors do go up, and the you can actually see that the window continues. There's no frame, um, no frame or pillar here. So uh, this part of the windows opens up there on the bottom, and then the the one the part of the window which is on the roof here um, actually has a clever system. I don't know, can't recall what it's called, but it's a um, something with an uh, electric window or something like that so that it can actually fade the color of the window uh, darker so that it actually blocks a bit of sunlight which is pretty cool so yeah the seat was bouncing around loose as I said so you can see there's a little bit of damage on the seat there on the on the right side there you can see a bit of chipped paint um, and because the seat was loose it also knocked off one of the dash uh, screens so you can see there on the dash we have a screen which is actually showing the um, the camera view of the side cameras um, so yeah you got one screen on each side and as you can see on this side it's actually missing unfortunately I couldn't put it back on because the dash was glued in very hard very well um, so yeah, I really just couldn't reach that place with my fingers or with a tool. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to glue that back. Um, but yeah, the dash does look really good. We got this white on the dash fading to black. I'm not sure what that is, but it does look really cool. Um, yeah, the rest of the dash is just black plastic. We look at the seat then. We do have a very nice seat belt. And the steering wheel is also finished quite nicely with the McLaren logo. The whole dash is really cool. You got like three screens on there. Floors also look pretty cool. Pretty good. And this car, of course, was meant to break the top speed of the F1 and it also plays on Mars to the F1 so we actually got a 3 seat configuration so yeah the driver is center positions and we center positions and we got two co-drive on a co-drivers two uh, we got place for two passengers on each side um, yeah you can see they also that we also have the seat belts for that seats do look pretty cool Got full a lot of carbon here. I think those are actually speakers right there as well. Just behind the headrest of the passenger there. We have the McLaren logo on the headrest. Yeah, I mean it looks really cool. I think there's some sort of badge right behind the driver as well on the on that carbon uh, piece right behind there. But yeah, it looks really good. So let me know what you think of this model. What you think of this model by TSM? Um, I'm quite happy with it, especially for the price, and I'm quite happy that I was, that I was able to fix it up. Um, just have to find a way to fix that um, dash screen. So, yeah, I'll um, have to take a look at that again. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of this model, what you think of my review, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram, link is down below. You can check out more of this model over there. More pictures as well as all my other models. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.